else on YouTube, it's Pete TT back at it with another division video. And guys, it is a Friday night going into Saturday morning, so you all know what that means. Guys, welcome to the weekly reset. Up first then, the special equipment vendor. My recommendation, you buy all the named weapons if you've got the Phoenix credits to do so. As you all know, named weapons are going to be exotic in 1.6 and last stand. So if you've got the credit spare, you haven't bought them already, make sure to buy them because they are going to cost a lot more later down the line. Now then, what is worth buying other than the uh, named weapons in the special equipment vendor? Well, first off, we have a Famous. This has 19% enemy armor damage, has the talent skilled, unforgiving, and uncomplicated. Now, personally, I would roll away skilled, and remember the fact, guys, that the Famous will become an exotic in 1.6. So, could be worth picking this bad boy up and leaving it in your stash, but again, it as always, guys, it is entirely up to you. Next, then, there is a stamina mod. Now, this thing has 267 stamina, 2,894 skill power. Why am I telling you to possibly consider picking this up? Well, as you know, guys, with 1.6 and Last Stand, they are aiming to go more away from the whole let's roll armor onto everything with the health and allowing you to roll other stats on your gear and your mods. The fact that you get 267 in the stamina and quite a high skill power rate in there, I'm probably going to pick a couple of these up, just throw them in the stash. You know, it's something to have a play with come 1.6 that's different. And if, like myself, you've got plenty of Phoenix credits kicking about, then I don't see any reason why you shouldn't. Up next then, still with the special equipment vendor, we have the EXPS3 holographic site. This has 24% optimal range, 2% accuracy, and 5.5% headshot damage. So it's not the best scope out there but the reason i'm suggesting you pick this one up is smgs are coming back as you are aware they're getting their crit hit chance they're going to be very powerful again but they will be penalized in their range so a good scope here with good additions to your optimal range has a bit of accuracy and a bit of headshot damage on it could be worth a buy in my opinion i have a lot of sites that already have those stats on so i don't need them but if you guys are looking for a couple of sites that could potentially be good for your SMG build to come 1.6, then do pick this one up. On to the blueprint vendor then. Unfortunately, guys, I can't tell you what he's got, okay? You guys know me. I pretty much pick up everything every week just because I play the game so damn much. I have Phoenix credits kicking around all over the map that I can never pick up because I'm always at that 2k cap. So I always pick up all the blueprints, so I can't even tell you what he's selling this week, unfortunately. So have a look for yourselves. Up next then, uh, top of the base of operations, we have the advanced weapon vendor. Here we have a military G36. It has brutal, unforgiving and focused. Brutal and Unforgiving are very good talents on the G36, okay? The base G36 is very good anyway. Brutal, Unforgiving on it, awesome. Focused, I would roll away for Competent, okay? Now, the reason for that is Competent gives you extra damage when you use a skill, whereas Focused only gives you the extra damage when you're not using a skill. Now, whether you're playing PvE or PvP, you're always using skills. So for me, it's a no-brainer. I bought one of these and I will roll away focused for competent. Also, at the advanced weapon vendor, guys, make sure to pick up your Pacan, your Cassidy, your Centurion. Because again, these weapons will not be available in the advanced weapon vendor come 1.6. So buy them now, throw them in your stash. I'm sure you all have the money to do so. Moving on down to Camp Hudson next then, we have a Tyrant Suppressor. These are obviously the suppressors that fit on your SMGs. This particular one has 6.5% crit chance, 5% optimal range, 2.5% stability, and plus 43% reduced threat. Not bad stats actually for a Tyrant Suppressor. Again guys, there are a few bits in this week's re weekly reset that are good for smgs and with the changes coming to them i would say get a couple and bang them in the stash also in camp hudson there is a stamina mod okay again this sits at 263 stamina and gives you three percent sig ability resource gain again going back to the one that was available in the special equipment vendor guys 
Everything's changing up in 1.6. Armor's gone. Health is coming in its place. They are giving us base health so that we can not necessarily roll health to every bit of gear, giving us a bit of build diversity. This could be good. Help you get your six skill back quicker, helping out a team. I've picked a couple up, banged them in the stash. Who knows? If they're good, they're good. If they're crap, we can sell them on in 1.6. Moving up to the cavern then, we have an electronics mod. Personally, I've picked a couple of these up because I always, always run electronic mods on my backpack just to bump up my skill power a little bit. This one comes in with 265 electronics and 256 armor. So, quite a good armor rated. Nowhere near the maximum, but it is good and obviously a very good electronics roll. Moving on to the Meat Locker, we have another Tyrant Suppressor. 7.5% crit chance, 2% accuracy, 4.5% optimal range, and 42% reduced threat. Now, compared to the one that was in Camp Hudson, the crit chance is a little bit higher. The optimal range is a little bit lower, and it has accuracy rather than stability. So it kind of comes down to what you want. Um... Again, personally, I picked up one from Cap Hudson and one from the Meat Locker to put in the stash. Who knows? They might be good. They might be bad. Going off of what we know already, having not played with the SMGs and the crit charts, I'm just kind of trying to plan ahead and prepare myself the best I can. Moving on to the ward, here we have a performance mod with 7% support station duration. Again, if you're looking to go for a reclaimer build... Um, Reclaimer, I do believe, is going to be very good and possibly a PvE method build. Uh, I would definitely recommend picking up the support station duration, along with, if you ever see them about, support station healing speed. Moving on to Southport, again, another performance mod here. 4.5% ballistic shield damage resilience. Again, the FNC set currently is very, very powerful, although it is taking a few nerfs. In 1.6, it's also getting a few buffs because your SMG will allow you to crit. 4.5% ballistic shield damage resilience obviously isn't the highest that you can get, but it is very good. So if you don't have them and you're thinking of running an FNC build, this could be worth buying for you. Next then, we have the Crypt. Here is an extended magazine with a 101.5% mag size. 3% crit chance, 4% crit damage. Again, this could be very good for an SMG or even an assault rifle. Um, I picked two of these up, I believe, to bang into my stash. While the magazine size isn't the highest, the crit chance, the crit damage is fairly good. Could be good again. You know, everything's changing in 1.6. Well, not everything, but a lot of things are changing in 1.6. So I'm kind of just trying to prepare for all different eventualities and allow myself to try different things out. Now then, guys, that is about going to wrap up the weekly reset video this week for the Light Zone. Don't forget to stay tuned for the Dark Zone safe rooms and vendors and checkpoints and everything coming later on tonight. I'm splitting the videos up because with the increased size to the Dark Zone in 1.6, I just think it is going to be better for you guys if I do split them up. So, as always guys, if you did like this, smash the thumbs up. Let me know any comments you've got in the section down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. There are plenty more Division videos coming your way. And as always, agents, thank you very much for watching. Until the next video, I'll catch you all soon.